honestly, looking at these stats, they're probably my worst stats in any COD that I've played recently. A 1.53 KD is nothing special, but I've been playing mostly Search and Destroy with a knife and, uh, and stuff like that. So, I mean, it is, it's kind of cool, but I also only have 11 days played. Normally at this time, I'm at like 20, 30, 40 even days played on a COD. So this game was definitely not my favorite, as you guys can see, but, 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 I love the settings, and that's what this video is about. Let's get into this. So the settings in Modern Warfare 3, I'm going to say, are probably some of the best settings in any game I've actually ever played, because you could do so much with it. There's so many things you could actually go up and change. There's so many things you can look at, so many different things that you guys could just do, right? Now, obviously, when you get into the graphic settings, I if you're playing on a PC, you could change this to whatever you want, right? I could play on Extreme. I could set it up. I could put it on and watch. I'll still get a lot of FPS in game. They planted at Bravo. As you guys saw, playing on Extreme, I still average roughly 200 FPS playing at 2K resolution, all right? So 1440p, that's not bad. 200 frames per second at, on Extreme at 2K resolution, not bad whatsoever, but I like balanced. And then in balanced, I like to leave my render resolution at 100, and then, then it's pretty much low for texture resolution. I don't really change anything. I just put it on balanced, and I leave it as is. But I know a lot of you guys are on console, so we're going to go into controller settings, and we're going to go into view right here, all right? So first off, the field of view, I always recommend playing on 115. The reason for this is because the higher your field of view, the less visual recoil you get on guns, and the more of the map you get to see. So why not play higher? I mean, it's going to look weird at first. The long shots are going to be a little difficult, but your gun's going to feel like an absolute laser i don't like playing on 80 i don't like playing anything lower than 105 105 is probably the lowest i'll go but 115 is just honestly solid and i'm gonna say guys this is my final ever settings video for modern warfare 3 so if you're watching this video a year later after modern warfare 3 after black ops 6 is already almost done and stuff just know my settings on this game are still the absolute same ads field of view we're gonna put that to affected okay because this is just i, I play on independent it's just it's different affected brings the gun closer to your face and stuff it looks like it makes everything closer to you so it just plays out a lot nicer so if you if you actually go and get into a gunfight everything's closer to you even if your field of view is 115 everything is closer to you on affected and you still get that very low visual recoil so it's, it's easier to get kills i'm pretty much trying to tell you guys world motion blur off weapon motion blur off if these are on you will be losing gunfights you will not see some enemies and you will while you're shooting someone at long distance you'll end up losing them as well in your sights so definitely turn this off and then film grain off camera movements the least which is one uh, uh sorry 50 percent. i don't know why i said one um it's literally 50 percent. that's the least you could go i wish you could go to zero but it is what it is and that's going to be pretty much it for the graphic settings but we're going to go into controller settings now probably some of the most important and what i want to talk about here i play on flipped all right guys i'm on a playstation 5 controller i got no back paddles nothing like that just a basic playstation 5 controller that comes with the console when you buy it I play on flipped because for me personally, it's more comfortable in my hand. Now it has been, it, it's weird because L1 and R1 actually do feel like they shoot a lot faster, but in the game, people have tested it. People have actually tested it and L2 and R2 actually shoot faster in game. Even though it takes longer to press those buttons, they actually shoot faster. So if you want that off, go ahead and do so but i play on flipped i just like it there it's just what it is and then controller vibration i've had this off since black ops 2 there is no need to put on a controller vibration it is useless it is garbage and it's just you're gonna end up losing some gunfights because your finger your right thumb is going to move with the vibration of the controller and you're gonna miss a few shots in the gunfight and those shots are gonna be vital shots that are gonna end up biting you back in your bum and you're gonna die so just turn it off honestly it just it's gonna feel weird when you turn it off but just turn it off trigger effect we got off and then dead zone inputs again i, I always tell you guys play on five and, and 100 here or sorry 40 yeah no no that, that's for left i was looking at the wrong ones five and 100 for the right stick and 540 for the left stick but in all honesty if you guys want set this to whatever you're comfortable I, this is this is good for me this is comfortable for me but try it out try different numbers put this higher put it lower try it out see how it feels and honestly it's it's personal preference i can't tell you guys what to do for this right here but if you want to copy mine that's it then we got this right here horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity i'm going to be putting this up now back to 10 i used to play on 10 a lot the reason i'm putting this up to 10 is because there's a lot of movement in black ops 6 and i gotta get ready for that game that game is coming out in less than one week it's coming out in six days so i got i gotta get ready for that all right so i gotta be faster i gotta be quicker i'm putting it up to 10 but i always like to have this lower ads sensitivity multiplier 
again, this is going to stay low. This is going to stay at a 0.85. If you're using snipers only and stuff, put it back to a 1. But if you're using like SMGs, ARs, LMGs, even all that kind of stuff, shotguns even, put this down to 0.85. It's going to help you guys out a lot. You're going to stick and glue onto the enemies. And it's just really, really nice. Sensitivity multiplayer. Um, this one's nice right here, the kill streak sensitivity multiplier. This is when you're using air streaks, like uh, like a hellstorm missile or something. You can put this down so it's easier to control, easier to actually hit your targets. And this is the tablet sensitivity. You know when you're trying to like ping areas on the map with I don't know, let's say a cluster strike or something. You want to put it in three different areas. This is going to help you control that a little easier as well, so you don't put it outside of the map range by mistake. So I put that at point ninety. After that, we got vertical aim axis. Don't really touch it. We got tactical stance sensitivity. My dog is barking. I don't know why maybe someone's trying to break in who knows let's move on 0.80 for that right there aim response curve type dynamic you can play on linear i just personally prefer dynamic and then uh, yeah pretty much custom sensitivity presume you could turn this on you could turn that on and set all these to whatever you want but i leave it off because i have the one all the way up here turned on to 0.85 so i don't really go into that and then obviously i play on black ops i'm just used to it i play on assist right here because well i don't really use this but it i think that's the default so it is what it is and i do have my aim assist on why wouldn't i you i'm playing on controller if you're playing with aim assist off you're a weirdo then i got motion sensor behavior now i know why my dog's barking my girl and my son are playing mario kart one of them must be winning all right <laughs> automatic sprint off always turn it off garbage sprint tactical sprint behavior toggle auto move forward off i used to play this on and i used to play this on and then i started using dual wield weapons and it just they wouldn't shoot they would so i was wondering why aren't they shooting and it's because i was holding my left stick upwards a little bit even if you just move it just a slightly up you're gonna automatically sprint or even if auto sprint is on even if you're standing still you're gonna automatically sprint so turn it off it's garbage and then this right here tackles uh sprint behavior double tap ground mantle on automatic airborne mantle off this one automatic airborne mantle is useless okay if you have this on and you get into a gunfight and you jump backwards and there's something that you can mantle behind you you're gonna mantle it and then you're gonna get out of ads you're gonna go into hip fire you're gonna lose the gunfight and then yeah pretty much everything else here i'm gonna just slide down you guys can go ahead copy what you want to copy and just see what you want to see i'm not going to talk about every single one of these one by one I, I feel like it's kind of useless there's a lot of stuff that i just have on default and yeah you guys can see all that right there so that, that's that right there now we're going to get into audio but before we do let's go into interface and i want to tell you guys minimap shape square obviously minimap rotation on horizontal compass off because it's just useless nobody looks at this unless you look at it props to you and then crosshairs you're going to open this up turn the center dot on and put it to the largest this is just going to help you guys pre-aim enemies before you start actually adsing it's gonna be easier to actually aim onto them and i just really recommend that right there and then after this um i think that's pretty much it you know no there has it, it has to be somewhere else hold up it ha i don't maybe it's not even in here oh yeah there it is color customization okay you're gonna go into this you're gonna go down to color filters and you're gonna put it to filter too it just makes everything brighter everything is more saturated it's just easier to see and stuff so make sure that you actually put it to filter two and set it to both right here that's that's pretty much it that and then the intensity obviously you want this up to 100 i think yeah 75 is the basic you want it up to 100 it's just gonna make your games look nicer you're a lot more colorful and stuff like that and that's pretty much it and then in account and network you're gonna go ahead and turn off the gore effects and stuff like that because if you get into a gunfight and there's some weird animation and stuff it might actually cause you to micro freeze even though it's milliseconds you're gonna end up dying and stuff and then in audio obviously you got the master game volume up at 100 the dialogue volume at 80 effects volume at 100 cinematic music volume at 60 and war tracks which we don't really use up at 100 but that's gonna be it for the video this is my final settings like i told you guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a big fat like sub to the channel those nobody turned on thank you guys for watching i hope i could help you guys out with some of these settings and if you're looking for settings in black ops 6 and somehow you stumbled upon a modern warfare 3 video you can use these in black ops 6 as well guys they work it's the same type of settings but yeah that's gonna be it guys thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace